Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a geologist. I make videos about geology, about hiking and about studying. And I was going on the internet and reading about subreddit and geology and came across this post. Hi, I'm a 33 year old female in my 10th year of environmental consulting and I'm miserable. I love geology, the outdoors and travel, but I'm starting to realize I love it all recreationally. The outdoors my job takes me are to our awful contaminated sites. The travel is never to see anything geologically interesting. After 10 years of being on the road at least once a month, I'm exhausted and wonder if I can realistically have a family in this career. And I can honestly say as one of the only female geologists and at every company I've worked at, I have been treated unfairly and not equally as the men. I feel helpless. I don't even know what else I can do. I'll take any advice I can get. And then I started looking more and there's more and more posts that are similar to this that says, help, I hate my geologist job, love geology, but hate on-site field work, office-based career options, unhappy with environmental geology career, any advice? And I thought I should address this because if you watched any of my previous videos, in fact, the very last video I made was about geology career, about what to expect from geology career and myth, busting some myth. It's interesting video. If you're interested, I'll link it below somewhere over here, go watch it. It gives you a kind of an idea about geology degree in general. Now, in my videos, I always talk about positive things, about things that you can expect as a geologist and things to look forward to, but I never talk about negative things. And lately I've been getting a lot of DMs about, hey, can you talk about the stress uh, related to ge being a geologist? Is it stressful to be a geologist? And what are some disadvantages of being a geologist? And like any other career, um, be geologist career is not all about positives and it's not about all rainbows and shoveling money with a shovel. Um, there are some negative things that come with the career, with the job. And I, after reading that Reddit post, it sort of resonated with me and I wanted to address some things. And if you're considering geology job, maybe that's uh, things you have never considered before, never thought about it and something to kind of be aware of. That doesn't mean, and I'm by no means bashing geologists, I'm no, by no means bashing geologists as a geology as a career. I love geology. I worked as a geologist for 10 some years and I absolutely love the field, but it does have some negatives. And the first thing the poster in the Reddit mentioned was the travel time and the field work. And like I mentioned in my previous videos, not every geologist work in the field. I was fortunate enough to work 90% uh, of my time in office in front of the computer. But that's not true for all the geologists. And a lot of people go into the geology field because they love outdoors and they want to work outside. However, as a new grad, as a 20 year old, the idea of travel, the idea of field work may be a little bit um, it, it sounds very exciting. It sounds very novel, sounds new. However, the more you do it, the old, like you just get tired of it over time. And that's something to consider when you're looking for a job. Now, I've when I graduated, I deliberately searched for a position that stated that very little travel time is required. Like I said, 10 to 20% of your overall time was travel time. I avoided jobs that stated 50% or more required of travel time because I knew I don't want to be away from my family. I knew I wanted my own family, my, I wanted kids and I was in a relationship. So I thought it would be very hard for me to travel at the time and maintain that relationship with my family and with my partner. And so I would recommend if you are looking at jobs, if you don't want to be in a field, don't apply for jobs that state that they require you to travel 50% or more of your total time. Now, if you're already in that position, like the poster on that Reddit, uh, would, would, I would recommend, and she was given some, or he um, was given very solid, or I guess it was a she, because she mentioned she was a female. <laughs> um, she was given a very solid uh, advice from other geologists, and that's to look into pivoting your career. Maybe if you like teaching, uh, go back and do your master's or your PhD, if you don't have those credentials and go to to academic research, academic teaching at colleges, universities, or maybe even switching out career altogether. Uh, or look at other fields. There are a lot of jobs that require you to sit in front of the computer and not travel. Um, there are other like fun jobs. Some museums hire geologists, which is absolutely, I think would be amazing. Um, if I had the opportunity, I would definitely take it to work in a museum as a geologist. 
So there are different options to transition. Uh, so that's sort of one disadvantage with a geology career is travel time and field work. Uh, as a geologist, I never had to do a lot of field work, but I had to travel uh, at the beginning of my career a lot because I work in Canada and our office, the main office was in Houston. We had another office in Midland, not we, the company I worked for. And so often I would be sent to those offices to do presentations to corporate managers and such. And over time it gets really tiring to travel all the time. And at the beginning I was very excited because company pays for everything. You get to travel, you get to fly around. Uh, but over time you just, you just want to stay home basically. <laughs> now, another thing that the poster mentioned was, um, that she felt that she was treated unfairly as a female because she was working mostly with men. And historically, geology is a very male dominated career or male dominated field. However, in right now it's changing. There's a lot more females going into science in general and including geology and engineering degrees. So when I graduated, actually the class I graduated with was a 50-50 split. We had equally females um, graduating and males. And when I started my job, I we had a lot of female geologists at the company. So I've never felt that I was treated unfairly or discriminated against because of my gender. But it can feel uh, sometimes intimidating if you, for example, working on rigs as a rig geologist or even as an office geologist that who has to interact with uh, rig workers. Uh, rig workers just are mostly male just because not because of some discriminatory um, reason or because girls can't do boys jobs. No, because rig jobs are very physically intensive. They're very hard and I have the utmost respect to boys that um, men that worked on rigs. They did incredible, incredibly hard physical job. And sometimes it did feel a little intimidating because I was, if I would go to the rig, even to just tour the rig and everyone around were men and it, it can feel a little uncomfortable, but I never felt um, discriminated against. I've never, everyone were, uh, that in the environment I worked with were very professional. And that's, that's what I'm trying to get here is if you're working in a field, uh, I would expect everyone to be professionals. And regardless of gender, it's more about your skill and your ability to do the job than it has anything to do with just gender. So if you are, boys that watching this please treat girls equally and the same and it goes other way around the other question i've often asked is is geology job stressful and my answer is yes it can be very stressful depending again depending on the field that you're working in as a petroleum geologist i was a developmental geologist so my primarily job was to look for new drills new wells the locations and then oversee the drilling rigs as they were drilling and make corrections and so it was up to me to find a location that would produce oil or gas. And it was up to me to uh, decide on the placement of that location. Yes, I was, uh, so in petroleum companies, you work as a team. It's not just you deciding. There's also an engineer, petrophysicist, geophysicist, and a team lead. And you kind of collectively as a team uh, develop drilling plan. But often it's up to the geologist to do the mapping and actually physically uh, pick the location physical location of the well and so if the well comes out like if you drill a well and it's dry and it's not producing that's sort of on you and that can be very mentally exhausting especially if you're just starting out and it's all new to you it's very stressful and a lot of people don't realize how expensive it is to drill a well and again depending where in the world that can be very different but in the area I worked in, we would drill very long, very horizontal wells. So they would cost anywhere from 10 to $15 million just to drill the well. And if that, if you drill a well and it's dry and it's not producing anything, uh, everyone looking at you for answers is why that well is dry because you basically just costed the company $15 million that are not recoverable. And it can be very stressful and I can tell you that as a new grad when I started working in the second company it was very high pace 
company we would be drilling a lot and at one point I had five rigs drilling the locations I would propose so five wells at a time and I was on call 24 7 and if there's any problems geologically they would call me to try like discuss and for me to make decisions like what I would be doing and I probably would do a story time on this because I have a very interesting good story on this and and yes I was at times I was very very stressed but again it comes down to personality I am I thrive under stress, I like uh, the pressure, I like the excitement and I also like to test my science. So if I did a map and proposed the well, um, it's, it's very fulfilling to know that you were right or even wrong and then find out why you were wrong. So I like that type of stress. Uh, but also I didn't have any kids, um, I could stay and work longer hours so that was and maybe it doesn't work for everyone. So it can be very stressful. Again, depending on the field you work, don't expect it all be kind of unicorns and rainbows and mountains and rocks and you're just walking in the mountains. It's not always like that. It can be very stressful. Now, with that comes, I wanted to address uh, one thing. And the, la the lady in the post, she mentioned she's her intense year of being an environmental geologist. And that I find that the year 10 in your career is like a career slam it's kind of like when you're having a midlife crisis only only with your job and that's when a lot of people switch their careers entirely or go back to school or pick something different and i think it's normal um if that's you and you listening to this and you got to this point thank you and my advice to this and i am in that at that point of my career where i've been working long enough that at some point you start questioning your motives and you start questioning if you're doing enough if what you're doing is meaningful enough and if it's time for a change and that's i think that's just human nature that's absolutely fine if you're at that point and if you're switching your careers um, don't feel like a failure because that it switching careers and going some doing something very different can feel like a failure failure uh, but don't it's just it's normal and if you feel like you're choosing a different career um, see if you can transfer some of your geology skills i have a very close friend who's a geophysicist and he now works in data management in it because a lot of his skills were transferable he took one class at college um, kind of upgrade his skills in data management and now he works in for a petroleum company as well but as a data manager instead of a geophysicist so there are some transferable skills uh, that you can transfer to other degrees. So maybe you're doing something very different. And like I said, I work as a consulting geologist. Uh, I take a couple projects per year, but ma majority of my uh, job it has nothing to do with geology. So I open my own company and doing something completely different. So it's absolutely fine. Um, that doesn't mean you've failed or you don't love geology. Uh, I love geology. Uh, but sometimes it's just change for your career and that's absolutely okay. So hopefully I clarified some of the disadvantages or maybe negative things to expect that come with the geology career. I hope it didn't turn you off from being a geologist. Uh, and also because I've been working from home for the past five years or almost five years and studying from home, I thought it would I would make a video next week about how to be more effective at studying at home and getting things done because I have a lot of tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So if you are interested in that video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the no notification bell so you don't miss that video. Uh, send me some DMs on Instagram regarding if you have any geology questions and hopefully everyone is staying safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.